Dang. Look up at the camera real quick. Alright, we're good. <laughs> Okay, before you was an OG stud, you was a baby stud. Yep. And before a baby stud, <laughs> you was just a motherfucking baby. Honestly. Let's go back into time. Let's go back into time. Let's go. Welcome to Stud Conscious. Welcome back to another video. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't seen the other episodes, go ahead and click onto that. That's the playlist. You don't want to miss out on episode one, episode two, and episode three. Right now, it's episode four. What kind of video is this? Let them know. All right, so this video is pretty much we showing the stages of being a star. The stages of becoming the ultimate <laughs> self. Your purest form, but we had mistakes. We tripped up uh, on the way. We yes. was looking kind of ugly on the way. Yes. But we made it. We made it. <laughs> so this is old school versus new school. What was that transition? Because, I, you know, I got my photo album right here. And I got my photo album right here. <laughs> okay. We're going to show you what we was looking like from a baby to now. All right, y'all ready? Let's do it. Show them how you look like when you were a baby. Let me see how you look like, girl. I'm so curious. By the way, we haven't seen each other's pictures, so nah. it's gonna be our very first time looking at it, along with you guys. I got some. What you got, girl? All right. Show the people what you got. Ooh. That's you. Oh, look at That's you looking mom. all innocent. That's me and Brittany and my sister, Mildrina. Say it loud, girl. So, cause, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Don't forget that they're here, too. Yeah, yeah. So this is me. My sister is on the right-hand side. I'm on the left. It's my mom in the middle. You forgot to leave a special thing out. You a twin. Oh, yeah, I'm a twin. <laughs> That's something huge to, to talk about. Oh, you still got the same face. That baby face. <laughs> so cute. So little. All right, your turn. All right, you guys. You know, I'm an OG. So my ch my childhood pictures are in the photo album, physical one at that. Mm -hmm. So that's me, my little. I was fat, girl. Oh wow. I was a fat baby. Yeah, it looks nothing like you right there. I know. I, I look like I, I was. I would not have known that was you. Girl, tell me about it. And then that's me in a in a dress because you know us Mexicans. Oh, so the Mexican family. You would you have your Mexican dresses, you yeah. know. Mm -hmm. With, uh, what do you call those things? Stockings or what did you call oh, them? Oh, leggings. Leggings, I don't know. With some shoes, like, I don't know what my parents, see, I'm telling you, I have embarrassing pictures. That blue. The Girl, blue yes. And they just constantly They're put so me in dresses. so cute though. That is a cute ass little baby. But don't I look so innocent though? Look at that, yes. that's me and my daddy. You know, looking so innocent. Aww. I, let me tell you, out of six children, yeah. I felt like I was a good child. Yeah. Wait, what else you got, girl? What else you got? All right, next level. Okay, so we're gonna skip from that to <laughs> my ass a little bit right before I started middle school. Okay, so you're a preteen, right? Yeah. Uh-oh, let's see this. Let's call it 2011. And you were already kissing girls, right? Already, yeah. Yeah, you are already kissing girls, damn. Okay, so this is the long hair. Oh, girl, look at you. So you're like femish still, right? A little bit femish. That's when I would switch on and off. Like, I would still go back to like being like tomboy. And then I would be like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna wear my long hair today and be cute and like remind you bitches that <laughs> it is, I'm still pop. You know? That you still look better than most. Exactly. You know, you both know ways. <laughs> Period. And yeah, so. Okay, girl, I see you. You look pretty. Look at you. Look at you. I see you. Okay. Oh, yeah. This. Okay. Look at it. Why do you look so innocent? I wasn't, but I was. No, you time. looked innocent, but looked, you were doing some things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Girl, see, you have nice pictures. I'm embarrassed, yo. Like, my middle school... Hold on, ain't it? Hold on, ain't it? <laughs> My middle school pictures are like, it's the worst. I had no style. Girl, what is this? Look, 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 what is that? I'm, I'm obviously a tomboy. Up. Yeah, you know I'm, I'm, I'm obviously a tomboy. I love said, playing sports. She said, yeah, I was never femish. <laughs> like a G, girl, like a motherfucking G. Good. So yeah, I was never dressed as a femme. So I was more like tomboyish, STEM yeah. type of style. Yeah, that was definitely STEM. Yes, yeah, horrible. And then you got me with the overalls, girl. You know, the motherfucking overalls. Oh, I had one in blue. Ooh. And I had one in black. Hey. You know? 
But those are embarrassing pictures. I always had my hair in a ponytail. Same. With the two strings, girl. At the, on the side. Always. Are those braids or are they just... No, girl, they just, just like my just wavy fell off. ass hair. Just low key, your hair was wavy. Yeah, it was a lot Bad. more wavy back then. Really? So we're gonna have to move on because I cannot keep looking at these pictures. <laughs> uh uh. All right, all right, all right. So we step it up a notch, right? Mm hmm. So there was this one point where my ass decided. Um, I'm gonna cut my hair in a mohawk, okay? I have my braces. That's when they start to be straight. So this is when you're a teenager now? Like, Yeah, teen this teen. is like three, two years later, 2013. Okay. And yep, I have my rainbow sweater. I already, my rainbow t-shirt, I already knew what it was. Ooh, I like that. Okay. And then like, I had a I like thing that. about bow ties, y'all. Me too. Like, I, would, I was like, bow ties today. I'm feeling myself. So I had to think about bow ties. And I like that. that. I like that yeah. picture a lot. That was that. All right. Okay, you got style. All right, so I didn't have style. I'm telling you, I didn't get my style until I was like in my mid 20s to like, to, till now. So, girl, and this is back in my social Ooh. life. So I couldn't find any pictures that was by myself. I don't take selfies like that. Mm -hmm. I just don't. Wish I did. But look at girl, me with another stud, no, right? You look wrong. We looking like a G, right? And it's crazy because I didn't really have that many stud friends. But we're gonna make that another topic. Okay. Why? Why it's difficult for studs to be friends Low with other key. studs? That'd it's be a good only, topic. It's my only stud. Friend. <laughs> She's my only like second stud friend, like my whole life. Yeah. Interesting, huh? Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so what you got? Like, um, cause you're not going to your present now yet, right? No, not yet. Okay, so you got so you got I, another stage. So then I have another stage in life. Mm. Well, no, this. Okay, so then, damn, 2013 was definitely like I sw like switched my hair up so fast, but um. I ended up like straightening it, like getting it cut, like whether it had like a fade and then like having it straight. Like oh, that. Oh, snap. With like the blonde coming out and then I had like a chain or whatever. I was really feeling myself at this time. Like I, like I had hair just. Like that. I was like. So this, like the other 2013, I was still in middle school, like eighth grade. And then this was me going into high school. But you've always had style. Nah, look at this middle school. Like, this is when I'm in middle school where I always wear my hair in a bun. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. Y'all know you have embarrassing pictures too. We ain't the only ones. All right, so this is when I start to level up. Okay, so... Wait, so you want to do your yeah. level, up, level up first? No, I ain't my level up yet. Oh, it's true. But I wanted to show you pictures where my, cause remember I'm older than you, girl. Yeah, yeah. So I had more years on my, like I had more stages, <laughs> okay? Yeah, yeah. So okay, now I had to go to my MySpace. Okay, okay? okay. my MySpace had pictures. I'm in my like early twenties, like around your age. Yeah, yeah. I had braids and everything. I had long hair mm -hmm. that went up to my lower back. Mm -hmm. So that's me, girl. Look at look at my baby hey. face. Look at my baby face. Can you see my braids in that though? Yes. I had the- uh, Your hair was long as shit. That sweater, what is it called? Lot, tw lot 22, what is it called? That brand? Oh wow, but it had the Tweety Birds in the yeah. back. <laughs> you don't know that? You don't know that brand? No. Oh damn, that's-, that's But I remember thing. that style though. If you guys remember the name, it's Lot something, but comment below and let me know the name of it. I know you guys know. I know we have some OGs out there watching our videos. Yeah. So this was at Pride. Oh, okay. with my braids, you know what I'm saying? Still, you know, the peace sign was a thing. It's always a thing. It always is a thing. It will never Look go away. Look at you with the braids on mm -hmm. deck. Girl. Low key, you the type of um, low key that Mexican <laughs> girl that had the braids that was <laughs> pulling mad bitches. Like, I swear, the Mexican yes. girls with the braids pull <laughs> mad bitches. Sorry, it's I'm true not, though. Like it's true though. Like it's something about the braids. It's like you got the. It's just I don't know what to say, but girls love that shit. It's crazy because I only did the braids because I never wanted to do my hair. Yeah. It was either in a ponytail or in braids. Yeah, and it's easy to to work with. So mm -hmm. I. You got long hair, you wanna transition, get some braids. Get some braids. Get the little fade in the back on the side and get the line up. That's Ooh. it. All right. All right, now, let's go on to you now. My let's... little level up. You leveled up. My braces came off. I was so happy this year when my braces came off. Hey. I was like, hey. I, I was wearing contacts, no more glasses. Okay. I was, like, I, was I mean, I wear glasses now. But... I was comfortable with myself, you know, I'm, I'm hanging with the homies. It was my friend's birthday, we in a little limo. Mm. Hey, and then I leveled up again. <laughs> 
Got some eye slits, everything, still with my rainbow. That's what I noticed, that you got different hairstyles throughout the whole thing, the whole I time. I was changing my hair, you can see me now. Oh, I should show, like, me really now, like, like with yeah. different hair colors. Yeah, so how how are you now, present day? I mean, obviously we can see you. Yeah. But show us a picture. So present day now. now, I've dyed my hair so many times, guys, like... <laughs> She loves playing with the colors of her hair, like, and it, it looks badass on you, though. And you do it yourself? Yup! But bam yeah. Look at that with that smile, that smile that gets females! Hey, get that motherfucking females! <laughs> Got my little doggy Austin. Oh, that's her dog. Looking like a... That's a nice picture. Saying it's my birthday pictures. 22. <laughs> I don't like The big 2-2. Two -two. Hey. Hey. <laughs> There you go. All right. And you're only 22, so imagine when you're 30, what's what's gonna be your style in your 30s, imagine? I'm trying to do 2020 slash 1920 vibes, you know? Hey. Real classic all the time. Got my little suit on, because I'll probably have a business or something by then, hopefully. <laughs> there you so, go. That's what I'm trying okay. to do. Okay. See, now, these pictures are pictures that you took. Oh, yes. Okay, that's my present time now, okay? So obviously I chopped off all my hair. Mm -hmm. So now it's short and my style has leveled up. Finally, I think I started to care more. Yeah. Whereas before I didn't give a fuck what I was wearing. So now I do care a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> so apparently this is like one of the favorite pictures yeah, that I've been getting. Loves, everyone loves that. Everyone I love loves that, that one. picture. You know, I got the got the long, what is it called? Tube socks. Yes, I love this picture. With the hoodie and the shorts, you know, you gotta mix that style up a little bit. You wanna know what's really good? I really I was telling you how to pose, but at the same time I didn't have to tell her how to pose at all. But explain why. It's just natural. Nah. I took a shot. Oh yes, yeah. she I kept taking shot. drinks. Oh, I took Not more than one. <laughs> I oh. did take more than one. Yeah. I took like five. Yeah, that's I had, a lot. I was so uncomfortable, I don't like taking selfies. Mm -hmm. So for someone else to take pictures of me, it was like, ooh, it was so difficult. These are also like that. Oh that's God. a nice picture right there. I'd be surprised that that's, like I took that photo. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, damn. So people told me I look like Mark Anthony in that picture. What do you think? <laughs> and like you know like that look one, my style's oh my leveling gosh. up you know what i'm saying so that's what's up i think i think we're doing pretty damn good at studs huh me too i think we're doing gucci my question though is why the stud style why in mm, these clothes that is a good question i personally feel more comfortable i hate that women clothing literally accentuates every curve curve every body parts. everything like i don't Tight. like to show my like really don't goodies wanna, yeah i don't want to show my goodies <laughs> it's just almost does the style isn't the same either like for sure it's not as comfortable either i feel like most girls be walking around uncomfortable because mm. i be, i remember when i would wear those skin tight jeans like I will never go back. I remember when I used to wear regular girls' underwear. Like, I will never go back. Because <laughs> I swear, number one, if the underwear was comfortable, I think I probably would have still been wearing them. But I sure. always got a wedgie every fucking day. <laughs> I had a wedgie to fucking pick out my ass. Now, I'm not <laughs> playing. I'm not joking. How do you guys live like that every day? Yeah, I don't now understand. that I have boxer briefs, I never have to pick a fucking wedgie. Never am I picking out my ass. And the material is so comfortable. Yeah, it's just comfortable. It's like I'm wearing shorts. Yes. So and I don't feel weird taking off my pants. I just like, whatever. Yes. Like, I pretty much have shorts anyway. And girls are pretty much wearing that outside, literally. Anyways, they're, the, they're like pretty much like biker shorts, depending on like how long you want mm -hmm. them to be. Like, it's so comfortable. Like, why do you wear? Yeah, the same exact reason yeah. because it's comfortable. Like, I I wear fitted, but not too fitted. You know, it's still loose. You know, it's still a little bit loose. Still shows a little bit of form. Yeah, but not too tight. Not too tight. The whole style of men's clothing, though, too, is like I love just the style. Yeah, the style is always better. I always feel like men's yeah. clothing always has better items. Better material too. Yeah, that's true. why they're so expensive. Yeah. Also, like. Like women's clothing, have you ever noticed like how like legit the shirt will be like, it'll be a t-shirt. Yeah. It, somehow, I don't know how they make it go like, where it's like coming in here and then making your fucking boobs push up or some <sighs> shit. Or like a t-shirt always has to be like, you always have to show cleavage. I don't want to fucking show my cleavage. Right, right, right. I don't want to show my cleavage. And when I'm wearing a tank top, why is the tank tops <laughs> not all the same? You know what I'm saying? When a girl ha 
purchase a tank top, it has to show their cleavage. I don't fucking understand that. Yeah, that's interesting, isn't Like, it? but when a guy gets a tank top, um, it is pretty much all the way fucking exactly. up here. Exactly. They over-sexualize the, the female body. Yeah, and then if a guy is wearing a girl tank top, all of a sudden, that's not okay. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right? But a girl wearing a guy's tank top is just perfectly fine. Like, yes. it's not a big deal. Yes. We can wear what the fuck we want. Yeah, if whatever you guys are comfortable in, as long as you have the, as long as you're confident in the clothes yes. you wear, wear it. Y'all gonna get me hyped up because I'm gonna talk about society and how society Girl, falls. that's gonna have to wear yes, for another yeah, video. Yeah, I, I was like. I know, mm -hmm. I know. I would like to bring another friend involved though in that yeah. conversation. No, yeah, we're gonna get sure. deep in yeah, those combos. Yeah, like with a femme girl. That with a femme girl. I, I wanna know what makes them feel like society sexualizes them. Yes! Ooh! Yeah. Video idea! Mm -hmm. And now if you guys got other video ideas for us, comment below and let us know because we might do it. Yes! Alright, peace and love. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please hit that bell so you can get notified every time we upload. See y'all in the next video. Peace! peace.